Hello and good evening. Welcome to Dateline. I'm Joseph Charles Fight, professional. This evening, I'm here to tell you the story of a Chester Petersburg who committed a crime so horrible, he received a life sentence. We have footage of the crime in action. It's very grotesque and violent. Hey, pretty boy, can I get myself another bit of that tequila, boy? I'll get you another one. All right, thank you. There you go. That's pretty. Mine's near the wall. You remember me? No, sir. I'll take a vodka. There you go. Vodka time. Oh. So, you remember me? <clears throat> you killed my mom. You ran her over to the car. I thought she was a deer. No. Oh. You're dying now. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, yeah. mercy. Hey. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Why? Ah. He was my right home. <laughs> somebody called Justice? Disturbing footage. I have with me the man that saw that guy, Chester Petersburg. Good to have you. Hello there. Nice to meet you. Now, my first question is, why did you stab that guy? Because that was cool. Well, I stabbed that guy because he killed my mother. He ran her over with the car and just drove away. Now, the next question is, do you miss your organs? Yes, I do miss my organs. I miss my kidney, I miss half of my liver, and I miss one of my lungs. It hurts terribly. Now, now, I want to tell you a story. There's okay. a nine-year-old girl. Her name is Milwaukee. Now, she was dying because she had a lot of diseases going on. Okay. <laughs> and then they gave her the organs they took out of you, and now she's not dead. So that's good. But I want to know, do you still think... It was morally incorrect to do that kind of thing because she ain't dead, but you got like in here. Well, I don't think it's correct at all, actually. It's terrible. Everybody should have the right to choose if they want organs taken out of their body. It's it's a terrible thing, I personally think. So it, it should ne it should never be allowed, ever. Hmm. Well, thank you for stopping by tonight. And shake, okay. Thank now, you. now after this, I uh, was quickly a break in here. We're gonna have the warden of the prison, a man whose name is Fishborn. Hello, I'm Robert Stevens from Robert Stevens Law Firm. Are you in a DUI case? Well, we can help. Just call 1 800 Bad Shiv. That's right, 1 800 Bad Shiv, and we can bail you out from a DUI case. With me now is the warden, I got it, Chester Peters. 
Center, bearing his prison sentence. Meet a Mr. Fishbone. Good to have you, Joe. Good to have me too, friend. Now, my, my first question was, did you think that Mr. Petersburg was a good prisoner during his time in the prison? Petersburg did not commit any problems in the prison, but he was a criminal and we treat all criminals equally with limited constitutional rights. That's good to know. Now my next question was, do you think it was morally correct to involuntarily harvest Mr. Petersburg's organ thing? Well, it would be immorally incorrect if he was a citizen with full constitutional rights. But since he's a prisoner, he has limited rights, which makes him vulnerable in these such cases. But, let me say this. His kidney saved a young girl's life. And he should be thankful for that. I want to thank young girl for drug dealer. I don't think nine-year-olds will drug deal in their elementary schools. Well, you've clearly never been to Detroit, son. Next question was, do you think that Congress should pass a law allowing for the involuntarily organ harvesting and drug experimentation on prison inhabitants? Yes. This law will help our country as a whole because these prisoners are criminals. They should not have the same rights. Let them have a re redemption because these prison we won't kill these prisoners. We'll just simply take the organs from them and help our communities. Thank you for coming, kind sir. That's my hand. You're sweaty. We'll be back right after this with a word from a sponsor. Don't be left out. Get a lazy boy. <laughs> now, after that informative interview with Mr. Fishmorn, with me is the doctor that harvested Mr. Petersburg's organs. He switched to go on name for legal reasons. Hi. Hi. Call me the doctor. All right, the doctor. That's a good name to have, the doctor, sir. Yes. Uh, now, my first question is, do you think the treatment of Mr. Petersburg was ethically correct, given that it saved little Milwaukee's life? I believe it was completely ethical. Ch Chester Petersburg killed a man. And with that man he killed, he lost his deservance of those organs. So I took it upon myself to do the right thing and give him to Milwaukee, who was going to die without those organs. Okay, now my next question was, do you think Congress should pass a law allowing for experimentation on prisoners using drugs and organ harvests without their consent. I think that they should pass that law. That law is inevitable to pass anyways. So why not just pass it now? That, that law will help save many, many lives and help treat prisoners the way that they should be treated, as those without constitutional rights. At least any of that matter, anyway. Now, my last question is, were Petersburg's organs as pretty as I've been told? So I've been told they were pretty delicious looking. They all look that way. It's just the luster. It, 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 looks, it looks amazing. Yeah, I enjoy harvesting organs myself. I mean, my basement's full of squirrel intestines. Yeah, so, so is mine. That was my starter kit. I got it at Walmart on this last Christmas. It's good. Christmas is a good time for organ harvesting. Now, it is. Um, it's that a jolly was, time. It is a jolly time. Now, thank you for coming by, the doctor. Thank you, Joe. It, it was nice to be on. After this, our closing statements. <laughs> now that you've seen all of those interviews. And that footage is that guy getting stabbed, which is really cool. I really like that. I'm going to watch that a lot more tonight. Now, I want you to form your own opinion. Do you think that it's ethically correct to harvest their organs? And if not, when do you think it'll go too far? 
What if prisoners are dying? What if their children don't have organs? What if they have inbred babies? What if they don't have families? Where do you think this is going? Why do you think that? That is all for tonight. Have a good evening. I'm Joseph Charles Fang.